All right, what's up guys? This is a little uh, bit of a different video today because I'm gonna be talking about a, quite an advanced concept for lucid dreaming, and that is to communicate with the dream itself. So as you may know, in a normal lucid dream, you can control your own actions. You can decide where to go, what to do, where to explore, and uh, the sort of things that you wanna feel and be doing in a lucid dream. However, today we're gonna to be talking about actually talking to the dream itself as if it were a separate entity, as if it were a, a separate person that you can communicate with, with its own conscious awareness. Uh, and it's really quite an advanced technique because the things that you will be shown when you start communicating with the dream as a separate entity, uh, they can be really quite surprising, quite exciting and quite profound. Uh, and this is an idea that I've got from a, uh, a very good book which I'd recommend you to read. Uh, and that is Lucid Dreaming, Gateway to the Inner Self. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description to that, to that book for you there. Uh, but yeah, so let's just get right into it. When you communicate in a lucid dream, you can actually address the dream itself as if it were a separate person, okay? So start to think of the dream not as an environment that you're exploring, but as something that is moving and being aware with you. You're sort of creating the dream together. Uh, and it's slightly a, a slightly weird way of thinking about this, I understand that. But the more you do it, the easier it will become, like most techniques. Uh, and yeah, so when you're next in a lucid dream, what you should try and do is to ask the dream to do something or show you something, okay? So this is the easiest way to start. Uh, and you're gonna sort of address the dream as if it was were your friend or, or someone that you've just met, uh, but, but another person. Think of the dream as a person or entity, okay? So a common one to start with is to say to the dream, uh, I, I want increased clarity or something dream related, something that is going to affect the dream world in a tangible way. So you could say, okay, I want the dream to be clearer. The dream isn't vivid enough. Make the dream clearer uh, and the dream will respond and the dream will become clearer for you. Uh, and it's quite surprising and it's a great way to stabilize yourself if you're having difficulty with uh, you know if you find it difficult to stay in the dream and, and it keeps collapsing uh, or you find that your vision's fuzzy and you can't see things properly just ask the dream itself to help you and it really will it, it's quite surprising it really it did it was quite amazing to me when this first happened so that's the first one to try the next one is slightly more advanced uh, because you're going to ask the dream to show you something uh, on a more deep on a deeper level Okay, so you're gonna ask the dream to show you your, your purpose in life. Ask the dream, what, what is my purpose in life? Why am I here? Okay, and the dream will respond by taking you somewhere or showing you something or even presenting a concept to you. It doesn't have to be anything specific like a career path or a person or a, even a, you know, a particular feeling. It can be anything. Okay, so it could be a particular um, it could be a career path, it could be something that you want to go and, and do, or it could be something that you want to be instead. It could be something that you want to develop in yourself and maybe a skill set or a character trait that you want to have within you. So it doesn't necessarily have to be something external like a career, a job, moving to a certain country, doing a certain thing or a hobby. It could be something that you are internally. So it's really interesting to ask the dream this because the dream, as I'm sure you have some sort of idea of, is your subconscious mind, okay? It's the sort that the half of your mind that you don't really have much control over. So it's really interesting to actually communicate with the subconscious. And this is one of the reasons I love lucid dreaming because you can communicate directly with that part of your mind. So that's the second one to try. The third one is slightly different, okay? So you've asked the dream to do things like in, improve the clarity, uh, take you to certain places to show you certain things. But now you're going to ask the dream to surprise you. Okay, so you're gonna ask the dream, show me something unusual. And I'm not gonna tell you what happens because it's a surprise. You need to find this out for yourself, but this is something that I really suggest that you try because it's, a, it's really interesting. Okay, the thing that will happen is it's quite interesting and it's exciting. So go ahead and do that. Leave a comment when you have done that. If you've tried it, let me know how you get on. Did it work? Did you find it difficult? What happened? What was the surprise? So yeah, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.